Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different again. No news today. And if I seem a little tired, I just spent all day writing papers and doing assignments. So, you know, living that uni life. Um, I want to clarify a position I had in an older video, the Joe Thornton video. I got a lot of uh, interesting comments on that video. I do read all the comments, even if I don't respond to all of them. Um, yeah, I think I... It's hard to clarify what you think in a minute and 30 second video. And I am concerned about Joe Thornton. I think we should be concerned about Joe Thornton. Yes, it's awesome. Jumbo Joe is an amazing hockey player. All of us love to have him in the team. But when I see a signing for the Leafs, I don't just think, oh, this guy's cool. Unfor uh, unfortunately, that's how it's turned when you learn a little bit more about hockey. Uh, when I was younger, if I saw Joe Thornton came to Toronto, I would have been losing my mind because that's amazing and that's what I would have loved to see. But at the moment, I see Joe Thornton, who's an old man who can't, who isn't the greatest skater anymore and has been on a steady decline down. Um, and I don't know where he's going to fit on this team. So obviously he's very versatile and I think he will fit on this team, but you're going to probably have to load manage him. You're probably going to have to build the lineup around him, have some pace or have some speed around him, things of that nature. And I really struggle with understanding uh, the Joe Thornton signing as an absolute, like, this is an amazing win for all of us. This is a great signing. There's no problems with it. I think that when there's no risk, obviously, it's a 700k contract, you can bury that uh, easily. But... If we're thinking about Joe Thornton as someone in the lineup, I do question that. Obviously, Jason Spezza was an, a success last year, and I think the Leafs are pointing to that. Joe Thornton's a tougher guy, and that's what we need. We need a little bit of sod, of um, sandpaper on this team. So, you know, Joe Thornton, I think, is a great dude. He's a great hockey player. I'm worried that he doesn't fit our system for one real reason, is if you keep him, he's probably they're going to play fourth-line center, or play the wing. And unless you trade Kerfoot, obviously, and then he's gonna probably play third line center. I don't think he's a third line center. I think that he's at best a third line winger, at worst a fourth line winger. Probably gonna be a fourth line center with Spezza on one side and maybe someone another depth piece on the other side like Jimmy VC. So um yeah I don't I don't really expect too much out of Thornton. I think we need to tamper our expectations. I've had people say I don't know anything about hockey and that Joe Thornton's the greatest thing since sliced bread. I'm not that optimistic about it. I think he's an old man who's aged and isn't the greatest hockey player in the world. I think he's going to bring some leadership. But I think what we saw too is we've we've run this back before. We've seen what Patrick Marlowe does. He's great for the Instagram videos. He's great for singing in the car with Austin and Mitch. But he's not great on the ice. Fucking Babcock sent him out in Game Seven at the end of the game, and he looked like he was on. He looked like Bambi out there. Like this is my issue with signing these old guys. Yes, it's amazing. Yes, it brings leadership. Yes, it does all those things that you need. I know what what it's like being in a locker room and having veterans, like older dudes, in the locker room with you. I played up a year in baseball. Having older dudes around you helps you. Because you learn from people and you learn how the new tricks and you adapt easier to a faster style of play. And you adjust better to how the game has evolved at this level. And I think that the Leafs core, you shouldn't have to bring in leaders. They need to be the leaders. There's only a few leaders on this team. And I see that as John Morgan and now John Taver or and now Joe Thornton. Matthews and Marner aren't leaders. Muzzin is a leader as well. But he's not part of the core. Matthews, Marner, and Nylander aren't, aren't leaders at all. And they needed to be. I, am, I was the biggest Mitch Marner fan before I thought he turned into a diva. And it's not about the money. Get as much money as you can. But it's how you do it. And that just shows how much you really care about this team. If you're willing to go and if you're willing to put the fans through a whole contract dispute... It just shows that you're more into it for yourself rather than the team. And I think that those guys got rewarded, rightfully so, for their commitment to this team. But Austin's out there not showing leadership, doing horrible things down in Arizona to a security guard. Like, 
exposing himself to a security guard down in Arizona and not telling the GM. Like, I get it. We need leaders on this team. All for that. But your core needs to step up too. Like, if you're a key piece on a team, let's say you're one of the top five best players on a team. I'm sure most of my audience have played sports before. And you're not one of those people who's talking to the team all the time or not always focused on the game or worried about other things outside of uh, the sport that you're playing, then that sends the wrong message and it sends that you're either there just for shits and gigs or you're there for money if you're playing professionally or something else or for clout. And Joe Thornton is there to be a hockey player. Joe Thornton's there to win. But I don't know how much he's going to inspire these guys to win. I don't know how much he's going to inspire these guys to work harder. And it's not even... It's not even that these guys aren't good hockey players. Of course they're good hockey players. It's just that they choke under the pressure. Hell, even John Tavares, I thought, uh, had a weak playoffs. I thought Matthews was the only guy, uh, was one of the only guys that you could say had a standout playoffs. And even he had some problems. Like, we got outplayed in those playoffs and we should have dominated Columbus. We saw how Tampa handled them. We're a similarly built team to Tampa. We should be dominating Columbus. So, you guys can tell me what you think about Joe Thornton. Obviously, I have two videos now out on him. I'm just skeptical about what he adds to this team. Other than a little bit of leadership, a little bit of grit, and uh, a little bit of beard. Like, if you're trying to win hockey games, the best way to do it is to have a couple grit guys and have guys who are better than the other team. But not only that, guys who work as a unit. And... Joe Thornton doesn't fit our system that much. He's going to be a fourth liner. He's not going to have a significant role on this team. And you can't rely on fourth line guys to be leaders. You can't rely on Jason Spezza to get into a fight to inspire your guy, your team. Like, I love that Jason Spezza did that. But holy crap, you shouldn't have to do that. You shouldn't have to show that you're will willing to fight a guy just to show that you should be fighting for this game or show that you're fighting for this team. Oh, I'm at a loss for words. The Leafs infuriate me sometimes. I'm trying to be as optimistic as possible. When the season starts, I'm going to be doing reactions to every game, and I'm sure I'm going to be extremely angry, so look forward to that. But at the end of the day, Joe Thornton, I'm just questioning how much he adds to this team. It's awesome. I'm happy it happened, obviously, because it adds more depth and it adds something we need, but... I think it's hard not to be skeptical as a Leafs fan, especially when they're bringing in a fan favorite because we know how that turns out when it's the Leafs. Whatever. Thank you for watching. Uh, click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you want to see these more. Let me know in the comments what you think about Joe Thornton. Videos every day, except for maybe now because I'm doing a lot of uni stuff. And also stop commenting that I'm a kid. Have a good one.